Hey, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7, where we're always baking things, repairing things, and basically getting it done. Today we're going to be swapping out this perfectly brand new fuel line using the same fittings and primer ball and putting on black automotive fuel hose for a good reason. About eight months ago, I did a video about my outboard motor bogging while I was accelerating and I found out what was wrong with it. I went through a few different diagnostics and I came up with the fix for it. And at the end of this video, I'll leave a link to that video where you can go right to it. And I'll also put it down in the description below. So nowadays you should be using premium fuel in outdoor small engines, such as your lawnmowers, your riding lawnmowers, your boats, dirt bikes, any small engine like that, you wanna be using premium fuel because today's fuels have a lot of ethanol. All your lower grade fuels that you get at the pump will have anywhere between 15 and 85% ethanol, whereas the premium fuel has about only 10% ethanol, which is still a problem, but not as a big a problem as the other cheaper fuels. So you may find in your small engine motors, you're having issues every year, especially if you don't winterize your small engine, if you're not gonna be using it for a long period of time. See, ethanol causes corrosion in your fuel systems. The gas will gum up in your carburetor and in your tank if it's left for long periods of time. Low grade gas is only good for about 30 days. If you're gonna use lower grade fuels in your small engines, which I advise you don't, because you're only gonna run into problems eventually, add a stabilizer to your fuel. So we're gonna go over into my shop and remove these clamps and get this fuel line swapped out. So what I'm doing is I'm removing these high pressure clamps and to use these connectors on my black fuel hose. So I just took one off, as you can see. And what happens is, the reason I'm doing all this inside these gray fuel lines, you will see that there is a liner inside here a clear liner inside the line itself. And what happens is that low grade fuel breaks down that liner. It breaks it up into pieces. It can also collapse it. It'll collapse inside here and it'll plug your line. So if you are starving for fuel on your boat motor, say it bogs out or it won't start, that could be an issue. What my problem was, it was it could have been collapsing as well, but the fuel line itself, the liner I mean inside, was breaking down and it was plugging inside the, the connector here, but it also got into my fuel filter in the motor. So it plugged that fuel filter and is restricting fuel and make the motor run. So I'm going to remove this connector and I'll show you, and I'll take the rest of them off, there's four, but I'm going to show you what I did to remove this high pressure clamp here so that you'll know what to do in case you have to remove one. I don't know how good you can see this, but right here is a piece of metal that comes out and it flips over. It folds over like this. So I'm just going to bang this up and then we're going to pry this apart and it'll come off. Now, I don't know if there's a better way to do this. I didn't look it up. I just went ahead and tried this and it looks to me like a logical way to do it. Maybe there is a better way. Now, I'm also making this video in response <laughs> to a lot of comments I had on that other video from eight months ago, which I will leave at the end of this video and down in the description below. And the reason I'm making this video is to change my hose for a better hose, of course. These gray hoses really are garbage hose. And if you're not using premium gas, they'll break down a lot quicker and you're just gonna have problems. So I'd advise not to buy these gray lines. Now, numerous people have commented in that other video and have met, said, why are you putting the gray line back on? Well, now there was a reason for why I put the gray line on. I wanted to get my boat out on the water. It was midsummer. It was really nice and hot. I, I just didn't have time to get out and go around and look for a black hose because, you know, what's been going on in the last year or so in, around the world, there was restrictions. Stay-at-home orders. We were only allowed to go so far. So those were kind of my reasons. And... And I knew that I would have to replace this eventually anyway. But I knew this hose would last a while because it's a brand new hose. So I knew it would last me a couple of years for sure. But I'm going to change it out just because I want to not have any problems at all. And I want to teach people about this gray fuel line as well. You just got to pry at it 
try not to damage your connector because then you'll need a new one there we go popped right off grab these pliers again like this just bend it out of the way there we go it wraps right around that line quite a bit so you have to bend this clamp right out of the way there you go we have it off now this will be on there pretty snug so we're going to cut this but be very careful not to cut your connector you don't have to push hard okay so I got this off there we go a little bit of fuel coming out that's okay I'll get all this done and we'll get the black fuel line put on okay so what we have here is our bulb and our black fuel line I cut this first one about 18 inches now you want your short piece going from your fuel tank to the bulb and then the long piece from the bulb to your motor so I got to put the short piece on first make sure that the arrow is heading towards the outboard motor Oh, almost forgot my clamp. Don't forget the clamp. I guess I could have put it on at the other end, but still. So we got that first part done. Okay, so you want to make sure you got the right connector that goes onto your tank at this end. So we'll grab another clamp, slip that on, and we'll put this on. And now we'll snug up these clamps. And this is the connector that goes to the connector here that on the fuel tank. So just grab the socket here. And we'll turn this, I want this nice and straight. I like things to be right. So we'll straighten that out a little bit. There we go. We'll snug this clamp up. So I'll snug all the clamps up better once I get all the hose and the connectors put together. All right, so now we'll take this longer hose, which is 48 inches long. And don't forget your clamp again. The good news is if you forget the clamp, you can always squeeze it over the other end like this. And run it up but at the end when you put the last connector on you want to make sure you don't forget your clamp and that's what we're going to do right now we'll put our clamp on first so that we're mindful of it and squeeze it on there and we'll grab our connector slip that on now push it all the way to the end so there we go we have our two connectors at the ends of the hose and we have our bulb on we got our clamps our arrow is going in the right direction so this is this end here will go on your fuel tank the gas will flow this way towards your outboard motor and we'll snug up the clamps one more time and the great part is is we don't have to worry about our fuel eating away at the liner inside this fuel line anymore so one more time, I highly recommend you getting the black fuel hose, high pressure fuel hose, and swap out the gray one. If you have the gray one, it's going to save you a lot of issues down the road. You don't want this liner breaking down and going into your fuel filters and plugging everything up on you. So don't forget to go watch that other video where I fix the plug fuel filter and what caused it. I break down a few different issues that it could be for you. Maybe you're having that problem. A lot of people have commented and said that I really helped them out a lot with that fix that I did on that video. So again, it'll be at the end of this video and it'll be down in the description below this video. So good luck with your outboard motor this year. Please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.